In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the refrigerator fitted in uh, in a Bailey Unicorn um, 2015 model. Uh, to release the, the door, we need to come to the handle at the front here and you just pull it on the front edge, as you can see, to open the door up. That reveals the control valves at the top edge here. It's a Dometic appliance and uh, this is the control valve for its operation. So at the moment, the way the valve is, it's in the off position. I can rotate it to the first symbol, which is the main symbol for mains operation. And today that's how we've actually been operating this particular refrigerator. But I could also ask it to work on battery, uh, which is for towing purposes or gas. Now, when we come to the gas side of stuff, we have got an additional uh, two valves here. We have got the thermostat valve. That is the thermostat valve and is applicable on the other three sources or two sources, mains and battery. Uh, but that is what we need when we're operating it on gas. So this needle here will shoot up into the green when the flame has ignited. Uh, but to get that flame ignition, we need to press the thermostat in. And while that thermostat's pressed in, we press the piezo, uh, well, it's electronic ignition, but you keep them both depressed. I can hear the igniter trying to work. And when I start to see that needle shoot up into the green, uh, I know I've ignited the flame. So be a little bit persistent with it. And the flame has caught, as you can see, the igniter I can release now, and that needle has started to move up into the green section. Just keep the uh, thermostat valve depressed for a few seconds longer and release it. And as you release, you just want to make sure that that needle doesn't reduce back into the white part of the window. Uh, providing that needle stays in the green, the flame is on, on the back of the fridge and that is up and running, and that's how you would run it on gas. You can vary the thermostat, of course. That's the minimum set, and that is the maximum set. So in the summer, obviously I recommend using it on the colder settings, probably autumn time or even spring, probably in midway section. In the winter, you probably need it on lower settings again. All right, but obviously that's something that you would do according to the temperature of the day uh, and the conditions that you're actually in. The only other error I want to point out to you is this little latch here. Be careful, it's only plastic, it can break very easily. Um, and it's the latch that you use to keep the door ajar uh, to stop mildew from building up. So you can see now, I've got a little bit of movement, but it's latched, but it can't seal. It's not sealing, my fingers are in the gap here. It's not sealing, uh, the door won't close properly. So to release it again, just come to the front edge on the handle, just pull that little trigger there and make sure you, you push that back like so. All right, so I'll just demonstrate what it does. It comes out and then just push it to the open position like so. And that's the, the winter position to stop mildew from building up in there um, and keeping it aired. The only other item I want to point out to you uh, is where the data plate is located on this particular appliance. It's on the back edge there on the wall. If there is a failure of the refrigerator for some reason, then please uh, forward that data plate information. Uh, it is useful for us if we need to put claims in for, uh, for replacement parts. This is the freezer box and the freezer box just pulls open like so. But this base plate and the door is removable. You can make it into like a larder unit uh, what's nice is that the information reference how to remove this is uh, all on this front face here but there's a couple of little triggers that you release underneath here and then that allows you to slide the whole thing forward and you could use it as like a larder unit thank you for watching this video i hope you found the information useful contained within it thank you